my name is Michaela Hyde and I'm a health management coach. That means I work with individuals to help them make changes to their diet and their activity levels with a real emphasis on behaviour change because that's fundamental to having a healthier lifestyle. Now I'm thrilled to be here partnering with Ideal Weight and bringing to you a really healthy nutritional recipe that's fantastic if you're on the Ideal Weight um, 2 plan or 3 plan. So it's a great one for you to tune into, get creative in the kitchen and enjoy some great food. finely chop the onion, then add that to the minced beef and the remaining ingredients and we're going to form lovely burger shapes ready to be cooked either on your grill or on a griddle pan. Make sure your knives are nice and sharp as well because obviously um, you want these to cut through into small pieces and mind your fingers while you're doing it as well. Okay so I'm going to put all of the onions in with the minced beef. It gives it a lovely texture when you're cooking the uh, burgers as well and um, it gives it that lovely familiar savoury flavour. So these are our dried herbs that we're going to pour in as well. So the egg is going in. Making sure I don't get any eggshell in which I haven't which is always good. And then some tomato paste to add as well. Now, if you've got children and they like having a really good kind of bit of messy play, they could uh, perhaps help you with making your burgers as well. There's something, isn't there, about getting your hands into food like this that kids really love. And a little bit of ground pepper. Again, I like quite a bit of pepper. And black pepper is a brilliant way of adding flavour to food when you don't want to have too much fat or too much um, in the way of sugars and things like that. And then you bring all of the burgers together and mush it all up. And just pat them together. Remember, they don't have to look absolutely amazing in terms of their shape. There's something really nice and rustic about homemade burgers. Um, so just, you know, do whatever you feel. Let me just move that out of the way. There we go, six burgers ready to go. So we're on to the chilli coleslaw to go with your healthy burgers and it's a great recipe because it really does work with lots of different foods as well and it's something that you could possibly do quite easily to have the ingredients in your store cupboard. So for the chilli coleslaw we're going to begin by cutting up the onion into fine slices ready to be mixed up. We've got our carrots here as well, I'm just going to take the ends off of those and then we'll shred those. Another thing you can do with carrots is if you've got a julienne peeler, you can do that as well for the coleslaw, um, which can sometimes be easier. But I'm just going to literally shred these into tiny little um, strands. Okay, onto the cabbage now. So we're going to shred the cabbage really finely. I'm going to cut that again into two quarters, like so. Now you've got that really thick stalk in the middle, as it were. So I'm going to take that out because that's not so nice to eat and it's quite difficult to cut through as well and there's a little bit there, not so much on that side. Move those out of the way and then we're just going to shred it as finely as you can. Again, be careful of your fingers. Um, you want to have fingers at the end of this, so add that to the coleslaw. Now, a pepper isn't typically used in coleslaw, but the reason why we've included it is because not only does it add um, lots of colour, it's another vegetable, and when you're looking to um, you know, improve your diet, having a real rainbow of colours in your diet means you're getting lots of different vitamins and minerals, um, which is obviously all good, and we want more of that. So we're at that stage now of combining all of the ingredients together. So I'm going to put the onions, the carrots, and the cabbage in there like so, and then our chunky pieces of red pepper. Now we've got 100 grams of natural yogurt already in there, so let's pour that in. Okay, and chilli powder. Now this is definitely something which is down to personal preference. We're going for about half a teaspoon, because I like something to have a little bit of bite to it. And then the white wine vinegar. Now, and just, it's a around about a tablespoon, and again you can do that to taste. So a tiny bit more there like so, and then we're going to combine that together. Now natural yoghurt 
is a really great idea. If you're trying to um, reduce the amount of fat you're having, it adds that creamy consistency that you're looking for for lovely sort of crunchy salads, but without adding the saturated fats, which is something that we all need to cut down on, no matter whether you're trying to lose weight or otherwise, in terms of a healthy, balanced lifestyle, you're trying to avoid too much of the saturated fats. So there we have our lovely crunchy coleslaw. I think that looks absolutely amazing and it's gonna taste great too. It looks inviting. When you see it on the plate with that burger, you'll be hard pushed not to tuck in straight away. Now I've opted to cook my burgers on my griddle pan. I love using a griddle pan. It's a really good way of keeping the fats down in your food with giving it that lovely caramelized flavor. So let's find the burgers over here. Now I've heated the griddle pan through, it's really important you heat it through to a good temperature so that the meat can then sear. So let's pop some of these on. You can hear that great sizzling sound. Okay. Let's put those on for now. And then usually just give them a little bit of a sort of press them down slightly. Now obviously these are quite big burgers so they will take quite a while to cook. So I've had my griddle on a fairly high heat but I'm going to just bring that down a little bit now so that it doesn't burn on the outside and has a chance to cook all the way through. Now obviously I'd be cooking it a little bit long on that other side. If you move them too soon they do fall apart so do be careful. But I'm going to flip this so we can see how it's caramelising. Okay, so you've got a slight caramelisation there, not enough at the moment, so we'll cook that for a little bit longer. And the idea is you get that lovely, um, lovely sort of crispy brown on the outside, not too crispy, but just enough to okay, give that caramelised flavour, and that's what gives the burger a really great, great taste. It's that caramelisation that takes place on the griddle pan. As you can see, that's holding absolutely fine. The longer you do that, you get those lovely marks as well that give it that really authentic, rustic, chunky, I've made this burger, this has not been bought by anybody else, I know what's gone in it and I know it's good for me. So there's a real satisfaction in producing something like this. And it's meaty as well, so if you've got somebody in your house who thinks, oh, I'm not so keen on some of the food that you're enjoying and wanting to promote, this is something that will be a real crowd pleaser, your family will like it, Great for barbecues. If you're having a barbecue, if you make your own bur burgers, you know it's something you can enjoy and eat as well. So here they are, my beautiful healthy burgers and my chili coleslaw. And doesn't that look absolutely amazing, really inviting, and uh, so inviting, I'm gonna invite myself to try some. So let's have a little taste of these burgers. That is so good, that really is very nice and you can see now how it's caramelized really nicely giving it that lovely lovely flavor i'm going to try a little bit of the coleslaw as well let's go for a bit of the, the pepper mm. crunchy spicy it's got that moisture from the creamy um yogurt which goes so well and obviously it's really healthy for you too. A great meal. Your family will be delighted with you and you'll be delighted with yourself.